Hey guys, it's Angie. Long time no see. Okay, I've been terrible about making videos. I promise I'm gonna do better. But since I haven't done a weekly what sold video, I thought I would do a quick rundown of what sold for me in the month of May. Now I'm not gonna bore you with every single item that I sold, but I wanna show you some of the higher dollar items that I sold and give you an idea of what is still selling for me. Last month, between May 1st and May 31st, I sold $11,127.51. Think that's pretty, pretty good. I'm happy with that number. Can I be doing better? Of course. I had one week that was exceptional and one week that was a little slow, and so it all evened out. Okay, let's see some of the categories and some of the things that I sold. Looks like a lot, but we're gonna get through them pretty quickly. First of all, if you saw, I picked up these buyer's dolls. I bought two boxes of them for $65. And let me tell you, they have been selling really great. We'll just go quit through some of them quickly. This is Snowball Girl and Boy, sold for $117. The Irish Santa Claus, sold for $67. Look at this little clock maker with all the little clocks he's holding, sold for $67. Here's a cracker, and evidently they're little things you pop open and there's little toys inside, $67. Here's the girl version of that, sold for $59. This is actually Ebenezer Scrooge for $53. And then Mrs. Claus. Now I sold some others, but that's enough for you to get the idea that I sold those extremely well. And when you consider that I paid $65 for all of them, I'm just as shocked as you for sure. I had no idea they sold that well. And from now on, I will be looking out for those for sure. Another thing I picked up, well actually my daughter picked these up for free. Somebody had a listing that said I have a bunch of things I'm getting rid of in my garage. My daughter went over and picked them up and we were surprised to find out that old yearly editions of these sell really well. So here's a Playboy set for $38, $19.93 for $59. We even had a penthouse from $19.99 and it sold for $53. We had a couple other years that we sold as well and I still have some of them left. Not something I typically sell, but you know me. If it's legal and I can make decent money on it, you know I'm gonna list it, especially when it was absolutely free. Okay, then I found three different TI-84 Plus, and they of course sell immediately. My price actually is a little lower than the market has been going for. These are up in value right now, so if you see my prices, make sure you probably wanna go a little bit higher. I sold these within an hour. If you need to make a quick 50 bucks, you could do it this way. So here's this one for 53, this one for 53, and this one for 55, all sold in the month of May. I did sell some really good books. I love nonfiction, Bibles, any kind of old like engineering books, things like that. Look those things up. Don't do a lot of fiction, honestly. I really try to stick to the nonfiction, textbooks, interesting subject books. This one was a Thompson Bible for Kim James Version, it was still in the box. I did take a best offer of $150. I'm totally happy with that, guys. I paid 75 cents for this Bible. These are the spectrum of communism. See, interesting topic, it sold for $33. Abstract math, who knew? $65 and that's an old book. And procedure manual for nursing, $44.95. And finally, mathematical methods and the physical sciences. There you go, $56. I did pick up this wee in the box and it came with Wii Sports. I picked it up at a yard sale for $20 and it sold for $116.96. That was a nice pickup. This is just a little mouse for an old Apple computer. It's like, look at the little ball on the inside. I actually picked up the computer for $8.95 at um, a local thrift store 
and when I sold it, I didn't sell the mouse with it, and it sold separately for $29.66. The next item is a slide projector I picked up for $5 at the Goodwill bins. It sold for $89.96. Don't be afraid to pick up these heavier items, guys. UPS Ground is a great way for you to ship them, and I don't think it costs much more than like $15 to ship. This was like a really interesting phone from the early 90s. It had this little insert where you could write people's phone numbers down. I'd never seen anything like it. Uh, so I picked it up at the bins. I think I paid $3 and it sold for $38.66. Took a couple weeks. This thing, it's a boardroom multimedia projector in my death pile for over a year. <laughs> I finally listed it. I just, I don't know. It was heavy and I was doing my typical, oh, do I want to ship it? Do I want to mess with it? As soon as I got that thing on, within a week, it sold for $89.96. Don't be afraid of the big stuff. I found this. It was really kind of a neat Adams program. If your kid is into chemistry, it teaches them all, all about making the strands with Adams. I thought it was kind of neat. I paid a dollar for this set and it sold for $65.66. Xbox controller I picked up at a yard sale with another one. Two of them were $5, so $2.50 a piece, and it sold for $23.35 plus shipping. Oh, this thing right here, it's Learn Through Music. I didn't think much of this when I saw it, but always look things up because you never never know it has a little microphone that plays music and you insert the these cartridges in there when i looked it up i was shocked to see how much it was selling for and i sold that thing on a best offer for 70 dollars plus shipping so be on the lookout for that that's a really good pickup oh and then a sony psp this one i actually picked it up the Google bins. It was not working. I plugged it in. You could see the, that the power was coming on, but it wasn't charging. So I went on eBay and bought a new battery for $5.99 and sold it for $58.45 within a day of me getting the new battery in and testing it. Monopoly Empire. Board games are one of those things I just don't like to pick up, but this one was brand new, still sealed in the shrink wrap and I took a best offer I think of $68 on this plus shipping. This was an opium pipe that I actually found at my Goodwill. It I think was $3 by weight. I put it on an auction because I had no idea what the value of it was but always with auctions start it at the lowest price that you would really like to get. So I started this at $49.95 because I had no idea if it was worth even that, and it sold for $52.95. I'm happy, the buyer's happy, and it was kind of a unique thing. Oh, this is one of those six-week body makeover kits. This one happened to be brand new, everything inside. They had opened the box, but they had never used it. So they bought it, one of those spur of the moment. You see something on TV, on an infomercial when you purchase it. I was happy to pick this up for $5 and it sold for $44.95. This was just a little metal basket and it was old. One of those things, definitely Google Lens things if you don't know what it is. I did that for this little basket and the last one that it sold sold for about $50. I listed it for $53.95 and took a best offer of $45. KYS Hawaiian dresses or Hilo Hattie dresses are Hawaiian made dresses, always very tropical. If you ever find those, pick those up. They sell pretty fast and do really well. This one sold for $29.66. Hodgman Mossy Oak Rain Jacket. This was at my Goodwill bins, so I picked it up for I think $3 and sold within a day for $44.95. I love this these older Tommy Hilfiger 90 shirts. This one is the big American flag. They're just kind of the flashy shirts from the 90s. I sold that one for $31.45. I did find this North Face backpack. It took a while actually to sell this a couple months, but I had it listed high and it sold for $40.45. Old 400 speed film still sells really well. This was an eight pack, still new in the packaging, and it sold for $44.95 within 24 hours of me listing it. 
You can't tell a lot of medical equipment, but these Aspen back braces, they come from a medical supplier, but you still can sell them on eBay. This one sold on a best offer of $50, and it was brand new. Hydro Jug. I thought the moon and the stars when I saw this, I thought this was going to sell for $150. I was wrong. <laughs> After sitting on it for nine months, I finally had it on sale beyond this and took a best offer of $40. That's okay. I only paid $2 for it, so I'm happy to make $38 on that sale. Some shoes that I sold. Sold some Doc Martens for $49.45 sold these ASICs for $44.95. Dance goes, love this jungle print. It's kind of unusual, I think. Sold those for $49.45. And these J. Crew little suede ankle boots. I thought they were kind of cute, $35.95. I love doing shoes, especially when I don't have to clean them. So I'm super, super particular now because it's kind of one of the things that I really don't like to do. Cleaning shoes is super messy. I'll leave that to Tommy Bernard. He's probably an expert at it. So I really try to find shoes that need very minimal cleaning or attention. I just would like to get them and list them. So that's what I'm looking for when I pick out shoes. The next thing I sold was this Olympics backpack from 1996. I thought it was kind of neat and it even has a little pin on it. It's a little t-shirt pin of a shirt of the Olympics. So kind of neat. Sold for $34.16. Hats always do really well. Here's two examples of hats that I sold this month, but I sold plenty. This one was a cat diesel power hat. It's a snapback vintage. It sold for $41. And I sold this Heineken hat. The guy I bought it from at a yard sale after I was already purchasing it told me the story that he picked this up from the factory in Amsterdam. So it was an original hat from the factory there. And it took a while to sell, but it did sell for $39.59. This makeup, I always try to look at, especially estate sales. Oh, my estate sales here are so, so expensive, guys. So I really try to look for different things that other people may not know what they are, including me. This is face powder. I had never heard of it. It was, is these little balls. I'll show you. See, there are little balls in there. It sold for $44.95. It was brand new. I paid $2 at the estate sale and obviously they didn't know what it was either. <laughs> I mentioned this before that I did not know that these were called chargers. I always thought they were placemats, but this set is a set of chargers and the little coasters. I had this for a few months, but they did sell for $38.66. Parting out items. I love to part out items, especially small kitchen appliances, because people always break them or they get damaged and they want to replace a specific part. This was the air fryer lid sold for $34. And here is an infrared oven top or lid for a new wave. That one sold for $26.95. Sold lots of parts last month, so definitely keep an eye out if you see something. A lot of times in both of these cases, I had full working machines, but I made way more money parting them out than I would selling them whole. I did love this North Face pullover. I almost kept it, but I live in Florida. What do I need this for? I don't. <laughs> Rock Creek. This is a vintage 80s, early 90s track suits. They were all the rage in the 80s. This one did sell for $29.66, and I picked it up at a local thrift store for $0.25 cents on their $0.25 cent day. Love that. This thing, Vector Vest Stock Analysis, guys, I've had this for two years, <laughs> and why I had it priced for $38 beyond me, because it must have been priced high by someone else. And it finally, after two years, sold for $38.66. I'm thrilled. I forgot I even had it. Oh, I did sell one game, one, <laughs> all of last month, and that was a PlayStation 3 Dragon Ball, and it sold for $31. Not bad. If you're, if you're only going to sell one, sell one for $31. <laughs> oh, this was just an older Mary Kay item. 
Sometimes you find Mary Kay items that are that particular color is discontinued. I have some for this month I'll be sharing with you next week that did really well that I picked up super cheap. This was one that I had from a few months ago and it's over $37.58 and I paid 50 cents for it. Ornaments. I love when I find something unique like this. This is a Glasscott's ornament. It's Florida State Seminoles. It came in its own little box. I picked it up in the bins and let me tell you, it doesn't even weigh half half a pound at all, probably four ounces even with the box. And it sold for $22.45. I did pick up this American Girl doll from the Goodwill bins. I showed it last month. She had her hair chopped off. Somebody did a number on her. Look at that, ugh, bad. But I sold her for $20 on eBay plus shipping and I was happy that she can go to someone. I hope that they can restore her or send her in or whatever because she was a really nice doll. She just didn't have any hair left. And finally I want to end on my plush. Plush are my, one of my favorite things to pick up. They're so cheap and they're fun. First of all this is like a super creepy kangaroo. It doesn't look like a kangaroo to to me but that's what they said. He was a kangaroo. I showed him just because he's creepy to me. He was $11.66. It's a low dollar compared to what I've been showing, but he was still fun. FAO Schwartz is a great brand of plush to pick up. We put him there so you could see what he looks like if he was like hanging on something. That was my mom's idea. I thought it was pretty ingenious. He did sell for $17.05. Sold this Transformers Bumblebee. He was talking. And then when I finally sold him for $29.69, he wasn't talking. <laughs> but luckily I had the teeny tiny batteries he needed. Changed out those batteries and he worked great. This little Animal Alley, and if you don't know, Animal Alley was at Toys R Us when they were open. He was just a little weighted beanbag bunny and he sold for $19.76. This crazy thing was an Oblina from Nickelodeon have no idea, but he sold for $35.95. I actually picked him up on a whatnot auction for $2. If you remember from last month, I picked up a bunch of these cool 1992 dinosaurs. This one sold for $26.95. I still have several more, but happy this guy pays for all of them by far. This was something that I picked up at a yard sale for a quarter. I used other people's keywords, which was mace, flail, spiked ball, 16 inch handle, and it sold for $29.66. Who knew? This guy, it's a koala bear. I didn't think he looked like a koala bear either, but he sold really high at $39.56. So if you see unique plush that you're kind of aren't familiar with or like this brand which is Hansa definitely look them up jelly cat jelly cat's a great brand I love this guy he's like an ostrich or an emu he's like pom-pom looking really cute he was new with tags sold him for 1976 and my last item who's my favorite item I think of the whole month is this tiny little mouse he literally was this big this big. He is an Ikea mouse. He did not have his tag on him, but I saw him and I thought he looked like something that I should know. So I Google, Google lensed him and sure enough, he was an Ikea little mouse and he sold for $40.45 for a tiny little baby mouse. Are you kidding me? Okay, that was like a super, super quick rundown and I know I was still on here for a long time, but I hope you enjoy seeing some of the items that I sold during the month of May. I tried to show you the higher end items, but guys, I sell a lot of items that are 10 to $25, so don't be afraid to sell those. They all add up for sure. There's way more items that sold for me in that range than there are in the 30 dollars and up range definitely i like to do these what sold videos just give you an idea of some of the things that are selling for me sorry this one was so long i promise i'll start doing weekly ones so you get an idea of what i'm selling every week all right that's it for today i hope you enjoyed my what sold video and we'll see you next time thanks for hanging out with me have a great day Bye.